Hey, what's going on guys? Clutch here and we are live at Kubota Connect right now. You know, if you've been catching up with our live streams the last little bit, well, you kind of know what this video is about. We're here in Dallas, Texas. We travel all the way from Calgary down to Dallas, Texas to check out Kubota Connect where it's their dealer meeting, their AGM basically, where they have everybody come down and uh, pretty much all, like 90% of their sales happen here. And we get to show off Farming Simulator for them. So we have the new Kubota DLC, of course. And uh, we're just showing it off. And yes, I'm aware there is a giant Kubota tractor behind me in balloon form. Weird. Who would have thought? So guys, we are at the Gaylord Texan Resort and Conference Center where Kubota, well, as you guys can see, have completely taken over this absolutely massive convention center. There is literally Kubota stuff pretty much everywhere. Because of the live streams, you guys know, it's been Kubota here, Kubota there, Kubota everywhere. Now, we're gonna jump in, go take a look in the convention hall. I think we should go through the doors and go see what's going on inside. Let's go! So guys, our whole shtick here is uh, we've been showing off Farming Simulator, of course, to a lot of people that don't really know what Farming Simulator is. Uh, it's an interesting endeavor, to be honest with you, when you have so many people that are in the tractor and equipment industry that don't quite understand exactly what Farming Simulator has to offer. Of course, the Kubota pack that was released earlier this year, that's been put out now for Farming Simulator. And we're trying to show off as much of that as we can to these people who are selling this product and maybe find a different way that they can interact uh, with their clients potentially. Who knows? I, I mean, I've talked to a lot of people that say they didn't even know this was a thing. So um, I'm most of you that watch my videos, of course, you guys do farm sim all the time, so you understand what it's all about, but not everybody here does. If you've caught the live streams, you guys probably saw a little bit of that. So what's all here, I'm just sure you're asking. Well, we have a whole hotel taken care of. It's a whole, the whole convention center has been taken out just with Kubota products themselves. Now, of course, they have a bunch of their new products out so people can kind of demo them, take a look at them. Uh, they have a whole ranch set up where offsite where they can go and test some things out. Their new innovation products. Uh, there's some electric stuff coming out in the future that they're kind of showing. Uh, also kind of the stuff to be announced that we can't quite show yet is hidden back in the background someplace. Maybe you can see it, who knows? Actually guys, one of my favorite areas of the uh, the whole event is the classic tractor area. Now, they have a bunch of older, uh, rebuilt, restored Kubotas from previous generations. I mean, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, some of the stuff in here. I've been uh, going here as much as anywhere else on the show floor. along with some of the older original vintage stuff, uh, which there's plenty of. There's also some stuff that's um, maybe not as old, but still very original, original side-by-side. -side. We got some zero turn stuff here as well that was more of the original side. Still very cool to see this stuff that uh, maybe you don't see every day now. And of course, we got a whole bunch of subcompacts that really Kubota has been known for over the years. Right behind me, we've got a 2004 RTV, which is, I think, the original year for the Kubota RTV. So guys, part of the event has been the announcement of the Kubota sponsorship for NASCAR. Of course, they showed off the brand new, the brand new car here. They brought it actually into a ballroom, which is really cool to see. Of 
course, there's a bunch of their sales guys here. They've got parts, they have their internal marketing stuff. Like pretty much the entire company is here. There's some 3,000 people-ish here and it's uh, it's been kind of crazy. It's been a lot of people. And then of course, well, Kerminator's here from Giants along with um, the Farming Simulator booth that is uh, kind of in our hangout space where we've been streaming from for the last couple days. And of course, the main part of the show, the main attraction, right when you walk through the show floor, is going to be electric. Everything behind me is the electric tractor section, guys. That's really where their focus is going in the future, of course, and I think that's really where it's going for everybody, let's be honest, especially in the uh, the smaller market, the subcompact, small tractor market, the autonomous electric stuff, and um, yeah, they're showing that off here as well today. <laughs> Guys, a couple of my favorite tractors are right behind me here. The McCulloch. You don't see too many of these around. These things are uh, pretty mint, and I don't think I've ever seen them anywhere else. These are pretty cool. So that's kind of your tour of the show floor. Like I said, we're gonna be heading back doing some streaming here. So hopefully you guys have caught some streams. If you missed them, you can always replay them, of course. We're gonna head back in, see if the Terminator is still working on some stuff for us here. Waiting for right? Hang on a sec, right here. This here is what I'm waiting for. We need to get, uh, guys. We need to get the buffet started. The spicy maple syrup from the chicken and waffles. That was um, something I don't think I've ever had before. I was. Does that like go e against every uh, like Canadian bone in your body to, to mess up maple syrup in this way? We have made it down to the ride and drive event for a little bit with Kubota Connect. Uh, I'm actually currently standing in the area where we're doing the large equipment from your M5, your M6, your M7, M8. Take a look at the new features on these as well. Also behind me, you see we got uh, the small equipment. We'll take a look at those. Of course, we have nothing like that in game, but it's still something we want to take a look at. I mean, I, I want to look at it at least, right? All right, guys, I'm with Clint. He's the uh, egg product specialist. Did I get that right? Yep, that's correct. Perfect. We're in the Kubota M7 right now. He's going to show me around. Um, you know, one thing they've got now, you have the new loader control, and yep. you need to show me this because I'm, I don't quite understand it. You guys know I, we, we have very simple loading controls in Farm Sim. I would love to see, like, we've talked a lot about having a new controller for Farm Sim at some point. Hopefully, Giants does this. EA, if you're listening, please do this because I want this. But uh, maybe we can talk about how Kubota's done it because it looks very cool. So Clint, we're gonna talk a little bit about this and you can show off exactly how this thing works because you guys have kind of changed this a little bit on the M7 on the new generation and M6, yep. I think you said as well? Correct, M6 will have the same functionality on the loader joystick. This is very cool. Okay, let's take a quick look at this. Yeah, so the new loader joystick on the Gen 4 M7 tractors uh, uh, is on the deluxe model of the M7s, but it's incorporated your power shift as well as your forward reverse shuttle uh, on the joystick, uh, along with the third function and optional fourth function. Okay. So you have all the control you need right on this one joystick for loader work applications. So we can shuttle forward. You can either do it from the shuttle shift on the steering column or again from the uh, from the joystick here. Yep. Throttle up. I can use my loader joystick to power shift up through my gears. Awesome. And then control the loader. Um, and if, if we're needing to if we need to shuttle to reverse, we can just also click the enable button, shuttle to reverse, back oh, wow. up if we need to move bales, uh, pick something up, and then shuttle straight back to forward. Oh, interesting. Uh, so just up. one one button push and you're going from forward to reverse? Forward to reverse. Exactly. Auto shuttling. Oh, that's yeah. an interesting little feature for sure. Yep. And then upshift through your gears if you need to speed up. If yeah. you want to downshift, you can downshift. So yeah, 
that makes it a lot easier with it, you know, to control everything from one spot without having to run two different joysticks. Alright, so you, you mentioned something about multi-speed steering. Can you explain that a little bit to me as well? Yeah, yep, absolutely. That's one of the new features. You can enable multi-speed steering. There's actually three different sensitivities you can adjust it to. Okay. Um, and basically what it does if you're in tight quarters or doing loader work and need to steer quickly, yep. we can turn that on and it'll really speed up how quickly you can steer. So I've enabled it. Okay. It'll it'll do a full left to right steering lock and a little over a turn. Oh, wow. Before it might have been three and a half turns to go from a full left to a full right lock. So, so you simply push that button and yep. now you've got that speed steering engaged and all of a sudden you can turn super sharp, super quick. Yep, it just really speeds up the responsiveness of your steering. A lot less hand movement on the, on the steering wheel. That is pretty cool. I could think of a, a lot of situations in a tractor this size where that would be uh, definitely beneficial. So one of the other things uh, that's new on the Gen 4s is the Express Restart. One of the one of the things that you can do with that is that, say you're round bailing. Yep and you're bailing along and your your bale is full previously you'd have to clutch the tractor go yep. to neutral let the bale uh wrap and yep. then move back to uh forward gear here with the express restart you can just push the brake pedal it'll automatically clutch and stop the tractor oh wow okay and then in a bailing situation yeah you can let the bale wrap kick the bale out and then you let off the brake pedal and it resumes you back to your previous speed oh interesting so you're, then you're, you don't have to hit the clutch at all you just brake Yep, break Simple. and stop, let yep. go, and it resumes your, your uh, previous care. Yeah, there you go. There's the M7. The uh, M6 have that new technology for their loader arm. Very cool. I want. I do want to see that in farm sim. Um, I would love to see some of the transmission options as well. We all know the transmission options in terms of how they work. We'd love to see some of the stuff that Kubota's implemented, brought in, that'd be amazing. on Kubota Connect. Thanks so much to Kubota for inviting me out and hanging out here. As you can see, everything's kind of getting torn down around me. What a fun couple of days. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes content here at Kubota Connect. And if you're new, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe. Uh, drop a like on the way out and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day, guys. See ya. Find a little linky link here. And I mean, there's a little thing right here. I don't know if you can read that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I could do some splits. I could do some splits, no problem. I'm an idiot. I think you're losing this one. <laughs>